From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Thursday's top stories. While House members spent the day debating the media budget report presented by Finance Minister Prime Minister Minutes earlier, there were demonstrations outside the House. Members of the taxi union complaining about their state of affairs again. And the country's third party, the Democratic National Alliance, also showed up. There was some tension between the police and demonstrators over their presence there, but nothing developed from that. The party's leader, Araminta Komalafi, challenging the prime minister to call the next general elections, urging him to ring the bell. The DNA says it's contesting all 39 constituencies in the next elections, and the leader says confidence in the organization is high. Police Commissioner Roll has issued letters extending the special assignments of three high-ranking officers. Assistant Commissioners Clayton Fernanda, Ken Strong, and Limon Delavo have had their assignments extended for another two years. They're complaining that they're not being given any respect. Now the only woman in the Minutes Cabinet, State Minister for Disaster Preparedness, Bakisha Parker Eskom, told the media outside the House she wants to see more women in politics. I don't want to be the only female. I wish that there were more, and I am going to work towards ensuring that more women are running for political office, and that has to start at the party level. I think that the more women offer themselves, our chances of being at the table is even better. But I don't necessarily feel happy being the only one there. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. More on the timing of the coronavirus vaccine for the country now. The Pan American Health Organization, PAHO, says the vaccine could be in the country by the middle of this month. Latest numbers released by the Ministry of Health, they are for Tuesday, a total of nine cases, five in the capital, four in Grand Bahama, hospitalizations now down to 11, one person remains in IC. Officials reporting another death, a 58-year-old Abaco man, he died on March 1st. His death was previously classified as non-COVID related, but has since been reclassified. That takes the death toll to 181 now. Tourism Minister Diagula pushing back against criticism by Carnival Cruise Lines about the state of the tourism product here. Carnival says it needs an upgrade. The minister urging Carnival not to dump on the destination, given he says that they've often created what he called insurmountable thresholds for Bahamian entrepreneurs to do business with them. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management, a frontal system moving through the area. Not much weather with this. Partly cloudy today, showers are possible, highs from the mid-70s to low 80s. 76 at Freeport, 78 in the capital, 83 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds generally 10 to 15 knots, the seas 2 to 4 feet. Low tide now, the next high around 2 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight, lows from the upper 60s to mid-70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. They offer a wide range of insurance products. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. With more than 40 years in business, Nobody does it better than insurance management. Let's get the weekend started. The weekend, published every Friday in the Tribune, has the hottest news in fashion, music tips, the who's who on the red carpet, your must-try restaurants and hotspots, and of course, what to wear when you step out. Catch up on the latest film reviews or be thrilled with exciting tales from Bahamian history. There's only one place to find everything you need to plan your perfect weekend in Friday's Tribune. Pick up your copy of the weekend every Friday. The Tribune, the people's paper. Biggest and best. Thursday's world news headlines. The corona vaccine rollout continues in the U.S. and the numbers continue to come down in our country, but health officials and government officials are concerned about decisions by the governors of the states of Texas and Mississippi to reopen their states completely next week and to lift the mandatory mask mandates. Officials say the decisions could trigger another outbreak in the U.S. The standoff continues in Myanmar between the military and those protesters Yesterday was deadly. 34 protesters killed by security forces. More demonstrations expected today. PR problems for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, the former royals. She's been accused of bullying royal staff while in England. She denies it. Buckingham Palace says it's investigating. Tribune's gas track of prices for Thursday. Shell 452, SO 442, Rubens $4.39 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Good night for Buddy Heal and the Kings in the NBA last night. They hosted the Lakers. Heal had 29 points. 
Sacramento won. Read the details. He'll also announce that he's not going into the three-point contest at the All-Star Game this year. Find out why. And get the latest on DeAndre Ayton and the Suns' big win over the Lakers, along with the rest of the NBA. There's a Kai Jones update in the Tribune Sports. He's playing college basketball in the U.S. And the latest on Major League Baseball's spring training games. An update on Jazz Chisholm with the Marlins. For all your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning.